Okay, it's the end of the year and I thought just for fun, why don't we do a video on how to make your Christmas tunes sound more fiddly. Tis the season after all, right? Now you may be playing a few gigs this season or maybe you're just going to be playing with some family and friends at a gathering, but either way, if you are looking for some Irish fiddly ideas to add to your Yuletide favorites, this is the video for you. Now this is YouTube, so I picked tunes that are in the public domain for sharing here on this channel, but you can really apply any of the principles we go over in this video to any of your Christmas favorites, so just keep that in mind. And while this video is a bit more seasonal, I've got loads of other fiddle tip videos coming your way, so if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified every other Thursday when I post a new video. Now, I've been playing Christmas tunes for longer than I've been playing Irish fiddle, but you find that as you start to get more into Irish fiddle tunes, they start to rub off with their influence. Maybe you throw an ornament in here or there, or maybe a slide up to a note that you wouldn't normally put in. It just kind of tends to rub off on other genres. So let's just get really intentional about how we add in those influences. The first thing you can do is see if your Christmas song matches up to any specific Irish tune type. So probably the most common example, Jingle Bells, actually translates very well into an Irish polka. Here we go. It's got that real sleeve lucre uh, backbeat rhythm to it. So that's probably the most common example for getting a tune type into a Christmas tune. So Jingle Bells is one example, but we could also do I Saw Three Ships and turn it into a single jig. things like cuts or just a little grace note uh, triplet. I do a little uh, grace note there. Maybe another little triplet there. All sorts of fun little grace notes you can add in, just little extra tidbits here and there. Ornamentation came into play in our last example with I Saw Three Ships, but it can really, really make the difference in slower carols like the Coventry Carol. So we're going to use a lot of ornamentation, a lot of double stops even, uh, just to really kind of give a bit more texture to the tune. At the risk of sounding punny, it's kind of like you're decorating your tree with the ornaments of the tune. So you're ornamenting what might be a bit of a more bare melody and you're adding in the little triplets, the grace notes, the cuts, maybe a roll depending on the tune, but you're just kind of going in and adding a little bit of more emphasis, more double stops, and just kind of trying to add some flavor, some texture, some ornaments to your tree. 
I've got two more examples for you, but while we're at it, let me know what is your favorite Christmas carol? I want to hear it in the comments. So another thing that we can do is we can take a melody that doesn't necessarily directly translate to a Irish tune type like Jingle Bells or I Saw Three Ships would. So for me, when I hear Deck the Halls, I'm thinking, you know, I could probably turn this into a hornpipe. <laughs> something of the sort. And lastly, so many of the carols that we know come from countries that we might consider as part of the Celtic nation, so Irish, Scottish, Welsh, Breton, any of those, um, there's, there's more, but I think that that just lends itself really well to just playing the tunes as they are. So Auld Lang Syne is a Scottish tune and fits in well with the New Year theme, so uh, here we go. well-known version. Now, this video was meant to be a festive little break from the usual tips that I post, but I have a whole bunch more videos all on how to make your Irish fiddling sound more stylistic, both to the tradition and also to you as an individual. So I've got lots of videos showing you how to do that in my free fiddle tip vault, which I will link below this video. As the name suggests, it is totally free to join and you will find a wealth of resources on Irish fiddling there. You can also watch this video, which is all about how to get better Irish fiddle bowing strategy, and this is one of my favorite areas to tackle in Irish traditional fiddling. And as always, my friend, I appreciate you and your dedication to improving your Irish fiddle skills. Merry Christmas to you if you celebrate it, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.